Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I am the Bearded OG, and we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Um, we ended up at the Brotherhood of Steel Citadel here. Our dear old dad was killed by the Enclave, and we escorted um, scientists, do or Dr. Lee and a couple other people uh, back here, and now we're supposed to talk to somebody named Describe Rothschild. Um, to get some more information and some help to figure out what the hell we're doing next. So that is the plan. So what do you think? Can we take these enclave down? Scribe Peabody was telling me about those enclave plasma weapons. You know, they can turn a man to goo. How the hell do you defend against that? <laughs> Pretty dire, huh? All right. So, um, completely ruining my day. Listen, let's, let's uh, let's just continue on here. You can't sprint when you are. Oh, I'm dehydrated. Shit. I didn't realize I'm dehydrated. All right, let's just take all the water we have. In fact, we're probably hungry, too. <laughs> um, let's go to items, food. I'll take a couple Meyer Lurk cakes. And that gets our food taken care of. We are still a bit thirsty, but not terribly thirsty. All right, those guys are doing some hand-to-hand -hand practice. This is the lab. Let's see what Rothschild has to say to us. Oh, no, I'm not going to steal anything. Actually increasing? We both know that's not an option. Yes. And I told you that in order to compensate for last Thursday's mishap, there would be some complications. I'm dealing with it. Rothschild, old friend, you're a brilliant technician. But this old man's patience is wearing thin. I want a full status report in three hours. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's talk to Rothschild. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss... I was acquainted with your father many years ago. All right. Yep, that sucks. He's dead. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. I'm sure you're right about that. Uh, how did you know my father? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. Okay. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence. And I respected that. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment? That is correct. Uh, my father was looking for something called a Gek. Do you have one? A Gek? <laughs> Goodness, no. Certainly not. Oh, that sucks. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. Can't blame him. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Okay. Uh, so, you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from vault Tech. It may have the information you need. All right. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Sounds like his voice just changed. <laughs> uh, all right. Thanks. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. Gotcha. All right. Let's talk to the, the head honcho. About all right. Ah, it's good to see you again. You just saw me like five minutes ago, dude. Um, I found a brother holotag. What should I do with it? Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. All right. Where can I find Scribe Jameson? She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Fantastic. I gotta go there anyway. Um, tell me more about the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood is an old organization going back to the years just after the war. We are but a part of it. What would you like to know? Uh, if you're just a part of the Brotherhood, where's the rest of it? 
The Brotherhood began on the West Coast and exists there still. We were dispatched to this location many years ago. In truth, the Brotherhood of Steel has been struggling for years, both here and back home. Okay. Honor, truth, courage. These virtues seem to have little meaning in these troubled times, I'm afraid. Yeah, you'll probably get further with high caliber weapons, but go on. Um, why are you here in the capital, Wasteland? Ah, no. That's the real question, isn't it? Our orders were, and are, to acquire any and all advanced technology. And we have, to the best of our abilities. But when I realized the extent of the super mutant threat, I felt it was my responsibility to aid the people in their struggle against them. Unfortunately, my superiors back west disagree with my assessment of the situation. They feel I've grown too attached to the local populace. And they're right. Okay. In any event, the Enclave's arrival changes everything. How long have you been here? It's been over 20 years since we arrived, and we've been struggling to contain and eradicate the super mutants for nearly as long. With the arrival of the Enclave, I have a terrible feeling the super mutants are the least of our worries. Um, I guess that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> so be it. Um, by the way, I, I, I have a, I actually have COVID um, right now, so I apologize for all the sni sniffling and sneezing. Uh, yeah, so it sucks. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'd like to know, m yeah, uh, tell me more about the Brotherhood of Steel. What more? Uh, never mind. I guess I don't want to know more about the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, what can you tell me about the Supers? Would you believe? No. It's <laughs> pathetic, really, considering we've been fighting those abominations for nearly 20 years. Uh, okay. In all that time, all we've managed to do is to contain the threat, hold them back so they don't overrun every blasted settlement out here. But we don't really know anything. Where they're from, why they've infested the DC ruins. Hmm. And now here we are, holed up in our citadel. Low on resources, low on troops. It's enough to make an old man so very tired. Yes, okay. Um, what's the deal with the robot, even though I don't know what the hell I'm asking you that for? Ah, yes. Everyone asks about the robot. Hard not to, I admit. Is he talking about, like, the uh, Securitron robot that was out front? His name is Liberty Prime. Very patriotic. Built by a very proud nation during a very desperate time. We've had about as much success getting him working as they did. You should speak with Scribe Rothschild. He can tell you more. All right, he must be talking about a robot that we haven't come across yet. Um, can someone in the Citadel train me to wear power armor? Uh, let's save that question for last. What do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. Yeah, I've heard all about him on his flying bots. Which, by the way, are kill on sight now since uh, Bastard killed my dad. Not the robots. The Enclave. But we're going to kill their robots anyways. We need something to shoot at. It matters not now. As before, they seek to control and destroy. All in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just the beginning. You know, some people say the same thing about the Brotherhood, but yeah. Uh, okay, Cons all right. So, um, any chance you can train me how to wear power armor? Why, yes. Oh, nice. Yes, indeed, there is someone. Our intrepid Paladin Gunny trains all initiates in the use of power armor when they're ready. Okay, I'm ready. I've got some, in fact. Well, maybe I shouldn't tell him that. <laughs> Um, Under the circumstances, I will allow Gunny to train you as well. Hot damn. Okay, cool. You'll find him in the bailey. 
I will send word that I've given my approval. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, all right. I guess that's it. Goodbye. Hail. Hail. All right. So, uh, where's this robot he was talking about? Is there a robot? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what's the latest report? Boy, there's been another behemoth. That'd be cool if we could get get uh, the Evergreen Mills region. him on our That's side. <laughs> yeah. country, so things could get Let's get a closer look at this thing. I thought as much. Need something, friend? Uh, yeah, I want to look at uh, Iron Iron Giant here. What I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. Vertebrates, yeah, those are kind of cool. Uh, Doctor Lee. I need to collect my wits and figure out what to do next. Okay, so why are you walking around down here uh, instead of taking a nap, like you said you were gonna do earlier? I don't know. Anyway, um, Elder Lions, Alex Dargan. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so listen, thanks and all. Really great job you did there. Uh, did I say? I think I saved you. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to go to the a ring and talk to so and so can you be a little more vague and we had to go to the a ring and do something else and we have to go to the bailey to learn how to do power armor um does the th uh whoops does our Get up the trail. Use vault. Oh yeah, use the vault tech computer in the Citadel archives to locate a geck. Right. Okay. So that's our main. Uh, whoops. Put that away so people don't get the wrong idea. So we need to go to archives. Let's do that first. Um. Another. Go away. You're going to get me chewed out. Go away. You're going to get me chewed out. You guys all have shaving cream on your face. Um, I don't think that Paladin Gunny would be very happy if he saw me talking to an outsider. Where is Paladin Gunny? I need to talk to him. I'm supposed to go to the Bailey. The truth? We can barely That's A ring. Okay, let's go in here. Uh, who are you? Hail. Artemis. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Um, you must see a lot of things. What's been going on? What's been going on? Well, let's see. For years, we've been draining our resources, defending the ungrateful residents of this no man's land. Okay. Worthy cause, maybe. Not. Most of my best friends have either been ripped apart by super mutants or left to join the outcasts. Who are the outcasts? We gotta find out who they are. The enemy we faced more than 30 years ago has resurfaced, and their tech is still better than ours. Okay. What's been going on with you? Uh, I, well, I was in Tranquility Lane. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have a yeah. Who are the outcasts? I really don't want to go into it. Just the short go version. Bug Scribe Bowditch. He could talk a dog off a meat truck. Scribe Bowditch. All right. Uh, I have a few questions about the Citadel. I can help with that. What do you need? <laughs> Can you describe the layout of the city? You are currently in A Ring. Here you will find the Great Hall, the Lion's Den, and the archives. Okay. Beyond this area is B Ring, quarters for the knights, scribes, and elder lions. Okay. Outside in the Bailey are the training areas and access to the initiates barracks. Other than that, down those steps is the lab. Be careful around there. The scribes are touchy about who goes near their toys. All right. I already had conversation with some of them. Um, do you have a medic? You could say that. We have an old Robodoc. He's a bit creepy, but he does the job. You'll find him in B-Ring. All right, Robodoc and B-Ring. Uh, we do have a lot of radiation we need to have him removed. Um, who does supplies? Well, any one of us would see Night Captain Durga down in the lab, but since you're an outsider, you'll need permission from Elder Lions. Okay, well, he gave me permission for power armor training, so he'll probably give me permission for that, too. All right, thanks, Artemis. Very well. Um, no, I don't need to ask him that. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on the Enclave? As if we didn't have enough to worry about. Their weapons are better. Their power armor is better. Is their training better? We'll see. Hey, I got a set of their power armor, you know. Just saying. 
Um, care to share anything about the super mutants? You know how many uglies I've killed? More than all of Lion's pride combined. That's how many. Okay. All it takes is a loaded weapon and the will to use it. Uh, a little more than that. They're kind of tough. Oh, and a good way to get ugly blood out of your armor. A little bit of a Braxo and some water. <laughs> Works like a charm. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. Bye. Steel be with you. Uh, what's in here? No, oh, that's just a closet. Okay, we're not going to steal anything from these guys. That's the B ring. Okay, I don't think we need to go to the B ring right now. <laughs> so, go on. I heard all the lions talking to well, child. Sounds like even he was in the courtyard. You think I'm just being paranoid? In the, the truth? Vargas. What aid can I offer you, outsider? I needed to talk to you about something. Um, yeah, uh, no. Wait, what? I thought I was supposed to talk to Vargas about something. I'm sure Gunny could train you, but he won't. Not without permission. Yeah, yeah, okay, I already got that. Steel. Oh, you know what? I think we talked to Vargas outside. That's how I know him. He and I go way back. Uh, okay, so let's go this way. Courtyard. Who are you? Brotherhood Scribe? Jameson. Hail, outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Hail. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. Yeah, I need uh, an old pre-war computer. Uh, can, I tell you, can I tell me about the scribes? Tell me, uh, wait a minute, though. Aren't you supposed to show me to a computer? All right, let's ask questions about the Brotherhood. Ah, one of my favorite <laughs> subjects, of course. What would you like to know? Uh, what do you believe? We believe in technology, in the triumph of the creations of the ancients, over the horrors and evils of the wasteland. Okay. We believe in trust. Trust in technology. Trust in our fellow brothers. Trust in our elders. What about your power armor? You trust in that? Ah. And we believe in victory. Our forces have dwindled, but still we fight on. Super mutant. Enclave. It matters not. Surrender is not an option. Gotcha. Okay. Um, who are the members of the Brotherhood? Elder Lions leads us. Star Paladin Cross is his seneschal. Sentinel Alliance, the Elder's daughter, commands the Lion's pride, our elite combat squad. I've met her. The Paladins lead the Knights. The Knights are the core of the Brotherhood. They scour the waste to eliminate evil and recover technology. Okay. Paladins lead Knights. Gotcha. Scribe Rothschild oversees the Scribes in their duties to seek knowledge and restore the technology the Brotherhood has acquired. Okay. Uh, what about the history in this area? We first arrived in the Capital Wasteland in 2255. In those first couple of years, we discovered the Citadel, Super Mutants, and Project Purity. So you know about Project Purity. Ah, the Purity. <laughs> what an undertaking. The work your father and his team did was amazing. The Brotherhood helped protect them, you know. Well, you didn't do a very good job protecting them this time. At least for a little while. But we were stretched thin as it was, even back then. We had to pull our forces out. When we did, the place was overrun. Okay. I imagine that's when your father left. I... I'm sorry. I wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, well, they didn't, so here's what it is, I guess. Um, I guess that's all I need to know. Very well. Uh, oh. Olatag? You have. Oh, my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood. But perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. All right. I'm supposed to give the holotakes to her, I think. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. What's your offer? Sure, I got all the time in the world. How about we skip the story you just tell me when you want, frankly? No. Uh, I don't have all the time in the world, but I'll listen to you. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment. So many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, with outstanding orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each fallen brother's deeds. Okay. And without, and without radio equipment, you can't keep track of them? Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, 
We could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates, but with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. Um, but how do you know exactly what their deeds were if they died and you don't know how they died? I don't know. That's not my problem, I guess. Um, where, uh, well, I've already found some of the holotags. She already told me why sh they can't send their own people because they're stretched too thin. What's my reward if I bring you these holotags? Yeah, what are these scrolls? Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered, when he was promoted, everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. Right, okay. And so, each man who nobly serves the Brotherhood ascends into our history to be remembered by those who come after him. All right, um, where can I find the holotakes? They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. All right, let, um, well, I mean, I don't mind bringing you the hollow tags. I'm not necessarily looking for a reward, but on the other hand, if you're offering something. We have access to a great deal of technology, and because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. Oh, okay. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me, but from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, um, tell me. Do I have holotags on me? Yes. I found some holotags. Have you? It's <coughs> the history of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be wrecked. Take all the holotags I have. Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here's your reward. Use it well and in good health. Water bottle caps. All right, nice. Um... Tell me a little bit about the scribes. Well, there are a number of orders within the scribes, each dedicated to a specific area of research. The Order of the Sword is responsible for weapons research and development. Guns, ammunition, anything of an offensive nature. Okay. Defensive research is done by the Order of the Shield. Power armor, defensive structures, anything that is intended to protect us. Okay. The Order of the Quill preserves the written knowledge of the ancients, seeking out all manner of books and tapes. Makes sense. What order are you a part of? Actually, I am Proctor of the Order of the Quill. I oversee the archives and library here in the Citadel. Okay. We are dedicated to preserving the history of the Brotherhood, as well as unearthing the secrets of the pre-war civilizations. We have a single field associate, Scribe Yearling. She operates out of the former Library of Congress to the northeast. Yeah, I've met her. Okay, um, I guess that's sure. all I needed. Uh, can We already talked about that. What do you think about the Enclave? Quite a few. But most are distinctly unladylike and unworthy of discussion. Okay. I will tell you that the Brotherhood has encountered the Enclave before, and their motives were just as sinister then as they are now. Okay. Um, what about the super mutants? The Brotherhood has been battling super mutants for decades. First out west, then in Chicago, now here. But this group of super mutants is different somehow. Physically, yes, but mentally as well. If we knew where they came from, we'd know why. All right. Um. Yes, that's it. Goodbye. I look forward to our next meeting. Okay. Need so this friend? that's the Vault Tech computer. Uh, all right, let's. Do, oh, what? Maxon's archive terminal. No, we're not gonna do that. Let's see what this has to say. DC area vault listings. Vault seventy six. Equipment issuances. All uh, right, that's a bunch of stuff about equipment. Personnel assignments. 
All right, guys, I'm going to I'm going to read through this myself and just pause the screen if you want to read it as well. Um, I'm not going to read all this out loud. Vault 87 has a geck. And a food processing station. Six of them, in fact. Ask Scrab Roth, uh, Rothschild for information on Vault 87. Unexpected in a file data corruption detected. All right. Well, I guess that's primarily what we needed to find out. Um, nothing on personnel, assignments, project goals, access restricted. Uh, 92. While corruption, access restricted. <laughs> Vault 101, no equipment issuances, personnel assignments, nothing. Of course, we know about that. And we know about that, too. Okay, what about 106? Stuff, General Atomics Nuclear Power, personnel. Let me see what Dr. Albert Lyris. Okay. Uh. Brody Jones. Ideally, cause him to expire. Dr. Braun. Yeah, we met that asshole. Alright. File corruption, order requisition, file corruption. Okay. So, wasn't really a whole lot of information on there, uh, but we do need to go talk to uh, Rothschild about Vault 87. Uh, no, that's a closet. That goes into B-Ring. <laughs> Archives are this way. I have you understand? I wish it were not so. Truly, I do. But he is outcast. He has been judged. I... I understand, sir. But the outcasts have stolen a great deal of our uncatalogued equipment. I am beginning to run short of supplies for repairs. Then make do with you what again? you have. Was we I not clear the, the first time? Resources. I'm under I'm order not to trade with outsiders for supplies. To make up These for orders come directly from Elder yes, Lions. Elder, I understand. I don't think I ever talked to you in the first place. Out of turn. Quarter I, are out. Frustration got the better of me. Well, Elder Lions. what's your tactical appraisal of... Ah, it's good to see you Hey, again. can I buy and sell from your, yeah, permission to trade? This is not normally something that we do. Trade with outsiders has proven to be problematic in the past. All right. However, considering <clears throat> the circumstances, so be it. I'll send word to Durga that you have full access to trade. Fantastic. Thanks, dude. For situation. Thanks, Commander, dude. <clears throat> I received word from Elder Lyons. He says that you have permission to trade with us. Good for you. Don't be a jerk. All right. Um, what's your repair if skill? You want to it's terrible. Okay, never mind. Um, let's do a trade. Sure. All right. Do I, what do I have that I would actually want to sell? We could sell this and the flame refuel. Um. Yeah, I guess we don't. We don't really have a lot of stuff because we spent pretty much the entire. Oh, I do have enclave armor. Naughty nightmare. Here, you can have some smokes and some syringes. How's that? All right, what do you have for ammo? You don't have... You don't have a lot of shit. 
bunch of energy weapons because you Brotherhood types like your energy weapons, don't you? Combat armor mark two reinforced. Um. Well, <coughs> excuse me. That armor's nice and all, but hazard under helmet. Oh, under helmet. Right. Gotcha. Strength and under armor. You have T45 advance. Oh, look at that. Really? 65 radiation resistance? And it's only 62 coin? I'm going to buy that. <laughs> I'm going to definitely buy that. Ooh. Uh, well, we already have an anti-material rifle suppressor, so that's not really going to help us. You have anything for a cause? Um, no, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Gotcha. Steel be... Still be with you too. Okay, cool. Uh, so we got ourselves a kick-ass uh, radiation resistance suit. My goodness, look at that. 65 rad resistance. It's amazing. Hey, old Peabody. That's heavy raider country, so things could get interesting. Hail to you. By the traction of hospitality and on the word of elder lions, I welcome you to the Citadel. Thank you. I am Star Paladin Cross, Keeper of the Arm, and Seneschal to Elder Lions. Okay. And I am honored to say I was acquainted with your father. Now, what may I do to help you? You've got shaving cream on your chin. <laughs> I did. And you as well. You uh, what? You know me? Uh, explain. Long ago, I helped guard the water purifier against the super mutant horde. When your father left, I escorted the two of you to Megaton. Oh, well, thank you. He was a noble man. I was saddened to hear of his passing. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. Um, well, yeah. I guess he did, but he died for all of us, not just me. It's kind of like Jesus. <laughs> okay, anyway. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. Uh, okay, yep. I hope so, too. Um, I loved him so much I'll never forget him. Why does it matter how a man dies? Death is death. He died as he lived a selfish act. <sighs> okay, let's not be a jerk. I kind of agree with this a little bit more, but I mean, yeah, it matters how a person dies. And For the so people that are left are behind, that is. On through our sons and our daughters. Right. Okay. Continue to remember him fondly. Continue to tell his story. And continue to do his work. Through you... He shall carry on. Right. Okay. But now I must ask you a difficult question, if I have your leave to do so. Sure. Since you protected my ass when I was a kid, it's the least I can do for you. Um, karma, by all means, ask. Karma. Oh, right, because we have high karma. All right, let's 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 do this. I escorted your father across the waste. It was the best I could contribute to his efforts to restore fresh water to the people. I would like the honor of escorting you in your journey to complete his work. Oh, you want to, like, be, like, a companion? What about the Enclave? As a Star Paladin, I answer only to Elder Lions. He has given me leave to pursue the restoration of Project Purity, as I see fit. By aiding you in your travels, I shall fulfill that mission as best I am capable. Um, sure. I wouldn't mind having a... A star paladin watching my back again. Then I shall follow your leave and submit to your command. Well, I, okay. <laughs> you don't have to do that submit to command stuff. You know, just watch my back and I'll watch yours. How's that? As James's child, I know I don't need to explain, but I am not your servant. If I do not like the path your actions take, I will return here. I couldn't ask anything less of you. Now, let us go forward. Crush the Enclave. And fulfill your father's mission. Right on. Okay. You honor us with your presence here. So I think because I have such high karma, she's available to me. But if I was a bad guy, she probably wouldn't be. All right. Well, hey, we got our first. Well, actually, our second follower because dog meets our first follower. Cool. There's been another behemoth sighted in the wasteland, in the Evergreen Mills region. Uh, That's heavy raider country, so things could get interesting. You are right. There is actually a behemoth well. at Evergreen. Thank you for the update. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I don't see anybody else. Anyway, Rothschild, we need to talk. Ah, you're back. You need something else now. Uh, Vault 87 has a geck, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help with. 
Right on. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Let's go take a look. You honor us with your presence here. What the? Oh, is it this guy that's talking? Probably. Okay. Man, I don't want that guy in my sight. Iron Giant. There we go. Oh, we're not going to look at the map? Are this gonna... map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Why is that? Yeah, what's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Mm, I don't know about that. You should have seen what I just bought from uh, Scribe uh, Storekeeper Lady. How do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain <clears throat> death for you. It's that bad, huh? There's gotta be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Cavern. I've been there. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Right, okay, that's where the kids are. Um, well, I guess it's time to find out. I'll go there myself. So there's a vault in there you've never bothered investigating, don't you? Yeah, can you, well, don't you know exactly how to get in there? No, I'm afraid not. After initial attempts to cross the radiation failed, it was decided to focus our efforts elsewhere. You, however, are free to do as you choose. More exploration may be useful, and I'll certainly be interested in anything you might find. All right, cool. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. I don't doubt that. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Assess away. 87, yeah, okay, we've been to Lamplight caverns that's where all the kids are <laughs> what's the situation okay um we need to go find the doctor and we need to go talk to the drill sergeant guy to learn how to do power armor so that's what we're going to do next how do we get out of here this way so we'll see how our companion does, you know, um, What's your tactical appraisal of our situation? my experience with companions in this game is they're, they leave a little something to be desired, but maybe with, you know, the mods and stuff that we got installed, they've made them smarter. I don't know. We'll see. If nothing else, they can distract the enemy so we can have more time to shoot them. Of course, dog meat's like invincible. <laughs> I didn't set him that way. I think it's just kind of the way he is, I suppose. And I think, I think it's that way just because, well, you know what? There are a, a shit ton of settings that I have in these mods. And I don't, I've been playing this for several months now. I don't remember what I chose. So maybe I did set him as essential only because, um, you know, they just do stupid things and get themselves killed. So what, you know, what am I supposed to do about that? Right. And what's up here? You're on point. I shall back you up. So, what's the way for? There's been another behemoth sighted. Just a bunkhouse, okay. In Evergreen Mills region. That's heavy raider country. So things could get interesting. Okay, we need to find uh, this drill sergeant guy. So, what's the He should be out here somewhere. Is this him? Yeah, Gunny. He's marshmallow zippy. Initiate, you've got a lot of nerve to interrupt. Oh, my apologies, stranger. I thought you were one of these worthless initiates. I swear, these kids would be lost without me here to powder their asses. Okay. What do you do here? I am charged with the duty of turning these maggots into brothers of steel. Yeah, you sound like a drill sergeant. With the threat of the Enclave, they're likely going to be pressed into service before they've taken the oath. Okay. So I've got a lot of work to do. Um, all right. Any thoughts on the Enclave? Killing unarmed civilians makes me sick. Come over here. Try fighting someone who shoots back. Fucking cowards. Right, okay. Um what about super Why do you think I ride these initiates so hard? I make training hell, so fighting those uglies won't be. I see, okay. Um training on power armor, please. Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. 
My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Well, you know, I have done some worthy things, I suppose. Anyway, you ready for this? Yeah, let's do it. Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Okay. Now you. Now what's gonna happen? Okay, you got all that? I think you know enough now to at least move around in power armor without killing yourself. That's something, right? I suppose. God help us all. I've received specialized training needed to move around in power armor. That's it? I'm not I'm not actually gonna go through like drills and stuff. If you'll excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. Have you ever seen the movie The Matrix? <laughs> I know Kung Fu. Okay. Well, um, so we happen to have some power armor. It's Enclave. I don't think that matters. You must be wearing recon armor. Oh, shit. We need recon armor. Well, I have recon armor back at the base. All right. Let's go find... Uh, what's this? Is this the exit? Yeah. Let's go find the dock. I think they said the dock was in ring B. That's A ring. It's also a ring. All right, let's go take a look over here. this way, I suppose. That's a lab. Have we been in the lab yet? Wait, this is where Rothschild is, right? Yeah, damn it. Okay. I thought Rothschild was in the archives, but that's where Scribe, uh, uh, the lady would turn the holotakes into. I'm terrible with names. I know. It's bad. Okay, we need to find Ring B. How the hell do we get to Ring B? I think there was a doorway to get down there, um... From ring A. That just goes all the way up there. Well, there's nothing in there. Alright, let's go back into A ring. Quit turning my light off, damn it! And then we went down the hall. We found ring B somewhere. Oh, that's just another door to the laboratory. Okay. Place is confusing. What's that say? Courtyard. The den. Hail. Hail. Uh, ring B. Or B ring. Hey, Doc. I've got a shit ton of radiation in my blood. You need to remove it, please. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treat. Error, error. What? The fuck do you mean by that? Ouch, that hurt. What the hell? There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level two diagnostic. Run a level two diagnostic on the medical subsystems. Okay. Command accepted. Beginning level two systems diagnostic. Please stand by. <laughs> That's funny. Diagnostic complete. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway 0x63a82. No further information available. Um, okay. Closed neural pathway 0x63A82 and reroute remaining functions. Neural pathway 0x3A82 rerouted through neural pathway 0x374E82. Stand by. Full motor functions restored. Diagnostic reveals no critical failures. Asshole. <laughs> what the hell was that for? All right, triage protocol. Medical 
procedures initiated. <coughs> Administering treatment. Please stand still. Don't hurt me this time. Um. Oh, okay. Medical procedure complete. Further instructions. Can you remove radiation? Acknowledge. Oh. Uh. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. <laughs> That's funny. Um. So, wait a second. Man, we still have all of our radiation. We're going to have to probably go home and fix that. We have the machine in our megaton house for that sort of thing. Um, all right. Well, I guess that's that. Hello. H Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, royal <laughs> servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. If you say so. Um, the honor's all mine, Squire. Oh, well, thank you. Your words are very kind. Kinder than those I usually hear. Is there something I can help you with? I'm not sure. I saw your name on something else, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I don't suppose you know anything about Supermans. They don't actually make you fight, do they? Um, well, let's not insult him. What do you think of the Enclave? You're asking me what I think about the Enclave? That's what I asked. Well, the Brotherhood of Steel has actually faced the Enclave before. Back west. More than 30 years ago, according to our chronicles. Uh-huh. Judging from those records, I say their soldiers are outfitted in advanced power armor Mark II. It's pretty strong. Better than our power armor. Okay. And some of their technology is amazing. Vertebrates. Plasma weapons that can turn a man to goo. Does that help? So, I thought Brotherhood had plasma weapons, too. Um, you know anything about supers? Oh, yes. I've studied them quite a bit since I've been here. They're not all the same, you know, besides the regular ones. There are also brutes, and after them, the masters. They're really tough. Yeah, I think I've killed them all. But the worst of all? The behemoth! Yep. He's a giant! Yes, he is. I saw one once, outside the Citadel walls. So did I, as a so matter of fact. So scary. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I saw mine outside of the... Uh... Wherever Three Dog is, I can't remember. <laughs> Super mutants are all over the city ruins. But Elder Lyons doesn't actually think they're from there, or we would have found their home by now. It kind of seems like they're looking for something, but we're not really sure what that is. All right, um, do they make you fight? No. But I could. I know I'm ready. I'm sure I you mean, could. It would be scary, but it's not fair that I have to sit inside while the knights go on patrol. Well, give it a few more years, dude. I did go out one time, you know. Sarah, um, <laughs> Sentinel Lions took me out, just to show me. I killed a super mutant, too, I swear. Fantastic. I, uh, I also sort of shot Sarah, but <laughs> just shit. a little. It was just a flesh wound. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, all right, well, it's nice talking to you, Squire Maxon. May we speak again soon. Ah, uh, may we speak again soon, yes. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey, Captain Hello. Colvin. Hey, dude. What aid can I offer you, outsider? Um, goodbye. What's that? Hey, let me. This is kind of cozy in here. Go on. I heard Elder oh. Lands talking to Roth. Watch um, signs of trouble. Like even he's was this your room? Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to barge into your room. Okay, goodbye. Dave, think I'm just being paranoid. Look. The Enclave has the tech. They okay, the guys. But do what we're going to do is we're going to go home. I don't think so. we'll hold we're going to get fixed up. Get inventory management done. All that kind of stuff. Hail. And then, um... Can I... There's a foul stench on the wind. Let us not tarry for long. Right, okay. Can I... Let's trade equipment. Manage equipment help. Highlight an item in the companion's inventory, then right click to unequip a weapon or armor or use consumable. In the words item. of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Alright, so are you I, I'm assuming you have your own weapon and I'm just it's not accessible to me for some reason. Like stealing. <laughs> you have energy cells. And she can carry up to 190. Uh, pounds of stuff, so that's gonna come in handy because dog meat can't really carry anything for us. I've tried and he doesn't want to. You want this P92 cast rifle? Well, we should probably fix that up for you first, though. 
Um, plus, that's a plasma rifle. Do you mind using plasma rifles? All right. Well, here. Let's um, talk about tactics. I am open. I want you to change the combat style. Let's talk about how close you're following me. Um, a member of the Brotherhood is trained. Like we're doing, so I want you to use ranged weapons. I want you to attack enemies the moment you see them. I want you not to attack enemies unless I've already engaged them. Uh, e e yeah. I think that's the one we I've want. had no compelling reason to do anything different from what you asked. Of course you haven't, because this is the first time I've ever asked you to do anything. Okay. I shall remain vigilant. Very good. And you got shaving cream on your chin. <laughs> Actually, that shaving cream on the chin is some kind of weird thing going on with one of the mods I have. I just haven't. I tried to actually do something about it, but I'm hesitant to mess with this mod lists, you know, I mean, I got hundreds of mods, and you start screwing with stuff like that, and you can break stuff, so I think we're just gonna deal with people with shaving cream on their chin. Okay, guys, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and go back home, get situated, and then when we start the next episode, we will go to Vault 87, um, over here, way over here, through little lamplight, say hello to the kids, and see if we can figure out a way to get inside of Vault 87. And this time, we'll have a paladin to watch our back, as well as dog meat. So thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the very next episode. Bye-bye.